People are always saying to me, you know, George, you can't cook. And George, your food gave me salmonella last night because you served me raw chicken. And while I get their point, I also think it's bullshit. And so today, I'm going to be entering the culinary world with a service that could rival things like Uber Eats, Just Eat, and Deliveroo. So then, here we go. If you've seen me cooking before, first of all, please get out of my bathroom, it's creepy. But secondly, you might have noticed, I'm not very good. But in the food delivery world, convenience is all that's key. And so as long as my food delivery is fast, everything's fine. Right then, let's get on to cooking. This mic does not stretch that far. The economy. The economy's a bit fucked right now, let's be honest. And we all need things to help us out in these times of need, is the truth. So let me introduce you to George's super cool apple crumble recipe. Oh yeah. Let me get, let me get a bowl. What is this recipe? Good question, Andrea from France. In just three minutes, you can make my delicious apple crumble. All you need is whatever this shit is. Whatever this shit is. Finally, finish it off with some sun fat flour oil. You may be wondering, there's no apple or crumble or any of the recipes of apple crumble in here. Well, guess what? That's because we don't have apples because we're a fucking unhealthy family. Yes, we are. Mm. <laughs> Andy? No. Andy, do you want to try my thing? No, I'm good. Come on. No thanks. Yeah, I'm not gonna make you eat that. Oh, I'm so sorry for anyone. Oh, I'm so sorry for unleashing that onto oh, the world. Oh, God. Anyway, that's the kind of stuff you can expect. When I'm in the kitchen. Right then, let's discuss how my food delivery service is gonna work. Come with me. I order a lot of takeaway, you know? It's what I spend most of my family's money on, and I'm proud of that. But here's the thing, if I'm gonna enter the market, I'm gonna need to have delivery times of 10 minutes or less. So, let's think about that. Come on guys, let's think. So, 10 minutes or less. This is not what it looks like. I'm a business professional. So, what's on the menu? Well, I don't, I don't know, let's work it out. You know, here's the thing about menus. They're generally quite diverse and in order to be seen as accepting and loving, mine is gonna have to be pretty fucking good. We start with good old Georgie's apple crumble. And then when we get sued for using that, what we're instead gonna do, we're just gonna, I don't wanna say this, we're just gonna kinda serve carrots. We're just gonna go peep, just carrots. We, we're just, our place is just gonna be called Carrots Cafe, is the new thing, Carrots Cafe. Carrots, meaning carrots, and cafe, meaning, meaning cafe. Carrots meaning carrots, and cafe. Carrots, that's all we're selling. I realized a minute ago I said it was gonna be diverse, and I feel like I'm backtracking on my word. I don't intend to backtrack on my word, but I am. And that's the truth! But I don't want to be seen as a liar, so we will have one other item on the menu, and that is going to be peas. But we're going to have peas be always out of stock, because we're Carrots Cafe! <laughs> Fucking mic drop. Off we go. Our first challenge is to get to the park. It's currently 16.36. It's 4.36 right now. We have to be there by 5.36 or everything is done. Also, I seem to make quite a big deal about selling carrots in the last trip. We don't have carrots, so we'll be doing tuna instead. So, Tuna Terrace, that's the new restaurant. Let's go. This is my next video. I sold tuna to a church. I feel like we should be walking a little bit faster. This is actually not. I'm like, we've got to rush. And also, let's take our time and have a leisurely stroll. They're going to be coming out of school. We're just going to walk up with a camera. <laughs> not sure about that, but you know, I'll do road safety. Let's go. We're actually in the. I've rushed this a bit much now because it's only two minutes. <laughs> right, maybe lower the camera a tiny bit while we go past the children. Oh, I love the smell of petrol. <laughs> I don't know, Matt. <laughs> Let's cross over so we don't look super creepy. We're just trying to film blind people, not young children. The favorite thing about delivery is that people expect every food on delivery to be fast food. And so every food has to, on like delivery has to come in at the same time as like 
normal fast food. So like, they're like, expect fine dining to come in 10 minutes, which as you may see from our meal, fine dining completed. It's a difficult life, you know, owning a food delivery service. It's gonna be 10 minutes. It's 10 to four right now. It's 10 to five, I can tell the time. We have to be there by five. Oh fuck, we're approaching another school. We're taking it to Waitrose is what we're gonna do. It's from Waitrose. It is, we're returning it. Normally at this point, I'd tell some fun facts about Waitrose, but I don't really have any. It's where posh twats go. Actually, no, that's 7S. It's where middle-class people who think they're posh twats go. We're about five and a half minutes. When I said delivery company, I thought I might be like, I thought maybe I'd like hire, hire people to do it. And instead, here I am with a can of Prince's tuna chunks. Like a, like a twat. Thank you for zooming in. That was really important. I always dreamed of this day. Right. Well, what do we do now? I think it's time for the big dog. Preston, Preston Park. Yeah. The third delivery seemed impossible. No way could we make it half an hour on a bus in 10 minutes. We raced and we raced and we raced. And then... Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. <laughs> we failed. We failed our mission. People kept saying to me, they said, cheer up, George. You'll be all right. No. I'll never be all right. Never again. This is the end for good old Georgie B. And Carrots Cafe. Tuna Terrace, shit.